Spring is here. Let's learn about its unofficial mascot, the robin. Number one, winter robins are a thing. I coordinate a program called Project Feeder Watch where people count the birds in their backyards and they report them to us online. Last winter, so the winter of 2021, they were reported at least once over the feeder watch season, so November through April, at 59% at of the sites in Ontario. So that's way up from 27% in the first season of feeder watch in 1989. Number two, robins flock together, sometimes. In winter, flocks of robins spend the night together. And sometimes they can be in flocks of a quarter million. So these are in areas like Florida and Texas where the huge roosts of robins occur. Number three, egg color matters. So the brightness of the blue signals the quality of the egg. So a bright blue egg is healthy and should contain healthy chicks. And studies show that the males pay more attention to their nest if they've got bright blue eggs. And they'll spend more time helping feeding the chicks and they'll defend the nest more vigorously. And number four, nests can take a lot of time to build, between two and six days. During that time, female robins will make up to 180 trips a day, transporting building materials like grass, mud, and sticks. And now, here's fact number five. There are American and European robins. So the robin that we have in North America is the American robin, and it got its name from a European species, the European robin, mainly because they share a coloration difference. They share this kind of reddish breast, but the American robin is actually a thrush, so similar to a bluebird or some of the other thrushes that we have. Whereas the rob the the European robin and all of those species are actually flycatchers, so quite taxonomically different. And here's a bonus fact: you can tell male and female robins apart. Male American robins have dark heads; their backs and heads are more red, while female colors are more subdued and brown. <laughs>